Here we have a radical with one term in it. Everything inside the radical is connected with multiplication. So that means you can give each, ra each factor in the radical its own cube root. So we have the cube root of 8, the cube root of g cubed, and the cube root of x to the 8. The cube root of 8 is pretty straightforward. That is simply 2, because 2 cubed is 8. The cube root of g cubed is literally just g. You can take the power and divide it by the root. In this case, you get 3 divided by 3, which is 1. First power doesn't even need to be written. Um, with k to the eighth, the cube root of that, look, 8 doesn't divide by 3. So when you have that uh, problem, what you do is you drop the power down until you get to a number that will divide by the root. So 8 does not divide by 3, 7 doesn't, but 6 will. So we're going to call the first radical cube root of k to the 6. That means I need two more k's to get back up to a total power of 8. The 6 and the 2 combined to give me my 8. And at least we can simplify this first radical. So when all is said and done, we get 2g and then this would be k to the 6 divided by 3. So that's k squared. And then we have a cube root of k squared as well that won't simplify any further. 